Okay, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. I wanted to talk about our Ford Explorer and bucket seat installation. Um, our Explorer did not come with bucket seats in the second row and well, it makes it very challenging to get into the third row. We have three kids, so someone's always in the third row. Um, sitting three across in the middle row is not very doable in this car um, unless you're a stick figure for the middle passenger. So I'm not sure why Ford did that, but if you only have two people riding in the back at all times, then the bench seat will be just fine. But anyway, so here is what it looks like after the installation, after putting in the bucket seat. Um, this is the seat I bought from a wrecking yard actually in Michigan, and it matches the interior perfectly. We have the 2017 um, XLT with the sport appearance package. So it comes with this really cool um, Alcantara suede like material and a light gray and then the dark gray. Um, I like it. I really like it. So changing out the seats in these is very easy mechanically speaking. They're very very simple. Four bolts that hold the seat in comes right out and it's all one for the 60 portion. Where I ran into trouble is these little guys. My vehicle has the airbag seat belts or inflatable seat belts. I shouldn't call them airbag seat belts. Okay. Um, the vehicle that I bought the seat from did not have the airbag seat belts. So this took a little bit more time and a little more research to make work. Um, right off the bat, I will tell you Ford does not use the same parts for the seats. You one would think they would, but they don't. They use a completely different buckle for the bench seat and a completely different inflator. Um, so that all had, I had to get all those parts for a bucket seat. That was not an easy task <laughs> to figure out everything. So in order to do this, you need to change this out. You'll need to change this piece here. This piece just snaps in. I will also caution you when you are taking these plastics out um, they break extremely easily and not that the whole piece breaks, the little clips break inside. Um, they're very, very aggressive is the best term I can use. Um, I'd recommend even warming these suckers up a little bit with a hairdryer or a heat gun just to kind of try to minimize the breakage. Luckily I had to replace mine anyway, because this is a little bit different compared to the non airbag seatbelt one. It's about 17 bucks from Ford. Not too bad. I had to buy the buckle. I went ahead because this is safety related. I went ahead and bought everything from Ford. You can get all these aftermarket parts from different companies. I felt more comfortable just getting them from the Ford dealership. This was 50 bucks. This was, I think, like I said, $17. There's a little O-ring in here you have to supply, plus the airbag module, which goes, I call it airbag module, so I guess it's not really what it is. It's called a seatbelt tensioner but it's the charge for the seat belt goes in the base of the seat. That was about 135 bucks, I think. Um, and I'll put some pictures of the installation uh, either during this part of the video or after showing all the different steps that we had to do to make this happen. Um, we really, the only physical modification to the seat because the seat bases are the same. There's two things you'll have to do is in the base of the seat, um, I'm not going to take all this apart, but in the base of the seat, um, well, maybe I can get this off so you guys can see. We'll see if I can do this. If I'm witty enough to do this. <clears throat> all right. I'm not going to fight with it right now. No, I was going to try to get it off, but anyway, you can see in here, uh, what, or, let's see. let me, give me a second here. Let me see if I can get this off. There we go. I knew there was a way to do this. 
I've done this before. Ah. Okay. There we go. That's kind of a pain in the butt to do. All right. So here is just the stabilization mount that they use for the airbag, or the, I'm sorry, the charge for the seatbelt. The little canister sits about right here with a tube that goes to the seatbelt right about here. Um, so the cushion is surprisingly all the same. I won't pull that one off. Um, but as you can see, Ford has tack welded this little mount tab um, to this seat. And they use the same seat base regardless of the seatbelt design. Um, because I did not take the cushions out, we ended up dr drilling in a little, we used a little plate, drilled two holes, drilled a little tap screw to hold it in place. My dad does have a welder and we could have welded it, but because the cushion there, it didn't seem like a very good idea. You didn't want to melt the, cu the cushion or anything like that. Um, so the other things to do, you're going to have to do to get all this trim out of the way to get the cushion. You got to move this cushion up. You're going to have to pull this trim piece off here. You're going to pull this off. It kind of sandwiches into place. You w And again, there's some pretty aggressive clips, but luckily most of this is held on by screws. So there's screws on each side of this sucker and it kind of sandwiches in place. It comes apart here and you kind of have to work it around the base. Um, it does come apart, but I would be very, very cautious when doing so um, to minimize replacing the plastic pieces. I didn't have to replace mine. Um, thank goodness, one less expense. Um, so anyhow, it's, what's crazy to me about this thing is you've seen all the struggling I had to do to get it off, but getting it on is very, very, very easy. Um, so an advantage to getting the bucket seats is obviously ease of getting into the third row. We use this every day. Um, so getting back here with the seat in this position is much easier. Um, also, you have adjustability. You have fore and aft adjustment for both buckets, which is much, much nicer. So it makes it really cool for adjustability. You can move the seat either way. Um, and these are actually pretty roomy. I'm six foot two and I have plenty of room. As you can see, I can fit pretty well. And let's see if I can get back here. Oh Lord, this is not meant for adults. Sorry for the poor lighting, but I can actually, actually sit back here. It's not bad. And I know I have the seat down, which leaves this little loading floor in the way, but I still, I didn't have any trouble hitting it. My wife likes it in this configuration for her daily dosage. Ugh, this car, Ugh, kids. So anyhow, so this is the factory seat that the thing is, or the tr car came with, excuse me. And you'll notice that there's a slight difference. As you can see, this is very squared off. It's a little more rounded. I, in hindsight, I should have bought the other seat, even though it's not much different. It does kind of bother me, but to be honest with you, I don't think anybody's even noticed it. My kids certainly haven't. They just noticed the ease of getting in and out of this thing now. Um, so maybe I will buy one if I can find one. And I actually considered it, but I couldn't find it. The vehicle that I had bought was no longer, or the vehicle that I got the other seat from was no longer available. But other than that slight difference, let's see if I can put, go back over here so you can see. You can, There's not a whole lot of difference in between the seats, sorry. Um, they look very much the same. Um, so anyhow, if you want to do this swap, very easy swap, unless you have airbag seat belts, you're going to have a little more trouble on your hands, but it can be done. I'm here to tell you it can be done and it's a well worth it. I'm telling you, we love this vehicle even more. Um, we came from a minivan, so going to a little bit smaller vehicle. Um, definitely was a kind of a change for us so we really like this now this makes it much better um, I'm, again I'm gonna try I'll put the Ford part numbers which I still have here I still have to go through all my paperwork here 
Um, I still have all the Ford part numbers and everything. No, oh, that's not a Ford part number. I don't know what that is. It's a car. Things you have when you have kids. That was everything that I bought. I know it has a part number on here for you. Safety devices. I don't know if it even says Visalia Ford. But I'll pull this apart and I'll put the part descriptions in or the part numbers in the description. Um, if you choose to go this route. Um, and again, I guess if you don't want the seat to match, you could find any seat really from these explorers. Um, from what I can tell you, the 16 changed, 2016, they changed the seat cushions a little bit and designs are a little bit different. So 16 and up are pretty much the same. For me, this is 17, I believe is the only year they did this light uh, kind of gray color. For the 18s, they still offer the sport appearance package, but this is the same color. So you still get the Alcantara, but it's a it's all dark and that's one of the things i like about this explorer is the two-tone it really kind of livens up the rather dark interior as you can see so anyhow with that again i'll, I'll put those part numbers in there i'll also put some pictures up i have a lot of pictures that i did take i wish i would have filmed a little bit more i'm sorry not filmed recorded but i didn't have my camera my camera broke that i was using at the time and I uh, tried to do it with my iPhone, was not very successful because I was trying to work. And my dad had limited time at his shop, so we were just, we got down to business. But I did get some pictures, and I will put them throughout this video. So with that, um, drive safe and have fun. And if you plan on ever getting an Explorer and you plan on using that third row, my recommendation is to buy this Explorer with the bucket seats. Um, you will like the vehicle a whole lot more. It's much more functional as a six passenger vehicle than it is a seven passenger. But I know for marketing, Ford likes to market that it is a seven passenger vehicle. So it obviously sounds better. But from experience, it works so much better as a six passenger vehicle. So anyway, if you hopefully you find this video somewhat helpful. All right.